Glory to God. Where did I say we were going? Second Kings, chapter six. How many of you understand that we are living in an increasingly pagan world? The world is pulling away from God. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Amen. It's only been two entities in the world. It's the world and God. Amen. Glory to God. As we get closer to the second coming of the Lord, uh, expect to see more evil. Glory to God. I hate to say this, but I just... How many of you heard the news the other day where the gentleman killed four babies? Yes. Stabbed yeah. four babies. Four infants. Yeah. What's wrong? Evil is every place. Yeah. Amen. You better know your God. You better know your God. I'm hearing of people being shot at gas stations. People being shot. Shopping. The world is growing exceedingly evil. And I just want to encourage the children of God to let not your hearts be troubled. Amen. 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 To let not your hearts be troubled today. Um, a lot of times, you know what people are afraid of? People are afraid of the unexpected. Amen. I believe if those people over at the lake a few weeks ago, those nine people that were killed, had known that that was going to happen, they wouldn't have gone there. Amen. I believe those four, the mother of those four babies, wouldn't have taken their babies out there if they only knew. Amen. So where can we go today? There's trouble on every side. Where can we go as a child of God? We're living in an increasingly pagan world. And I want to prepare the church for it, but I want you to understand greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And as never before, you're going to have to depend on your spiritual senses. Amen. Jeremiah 33, 3 said, I'll show you great and mighty things. Wait a minute. That you know not. We serve a God, an all-knowing God. If we serve an all-knowing God, then why don't we know? We serve an all-knowing God who's waiting to reveal and direct the steps of his children. We have not because we ask not. Oh, glory to God. I heard somebody say the other day, if God is as big as the Bible says he is, if he is everywhere present, he shouldn't be hard to find. Oh, help me up in here. How many of you go through godless moments, moments in your life where you feel you can't find him? Moments in your life where you feel you can't connect with him. Amen? Well, how can you not connect with a God who's everywhere present? It's impossible for him to not be where you are. Glory to God. But I want to encourage the church today, get to know your God better. And God will give you a kind of confidence I don't walk around in this world afraid. afraid. Or help me up in here. I check with my God before I do anything. I check with him before I do anything, before I go any place. In 2 Kings chapter 6, the king of Syria was making war against the king of Israel. 2 uh, 2 Kings 6, let's start in verse 8. Said then the king of Syria warred against Israel and took counsel with his servants, saying, In such and such a place shall be my camp. Wait a minute. The king of Syria is plotting to uh, ambush the king of Israel. Uh-huh. Glory to God. How many of you know you got some evil people in the world? Mm-hmm. Amen. 
You drive a nice car, you got some folk looking at it. You live a nice life, you got some folk looking at you. We got thieves and robbers every place. Seems like crime is on the uprise. Are y'all hearing me today? So the king of Syria said, I know the routine of the king of Israel. I got a word for y'all. For those of you who, who travel the same way all the time, change up the routine sometimes. Don't be so predictable all the time. Well, I know so-and-so, she always over here on Friday. No, change it up a little bit. Amen. Amen. Right because you got folk who are tracking you. Yeah. You got folk who are watching you. So the king of Syria was an enemy against Israel, and they plotted to sit ambush on them. So they said, in such and such a place, they come by this place, they frequent this place all the time. Oh, glory to God. And so as it is, the king of Israel was going to go the same route that they always went. But well, watch this. Verse 9. And the man of God sent unto the king of Israel, saying, Beware that thou pass not such a place. Let me come down there with y'all for a minute. <laughs> Can I tell you something? My value as a pastor is increasing in this world. Because the more evil this world gets, the more people are going to start to value their man of God or their woman of God. The king of Israel was going to walk right into this trap. Ah, y'all ain't hear me up here. His enemy was laying or lying in wait for him. How many of you have ever been taken off God or caught off God by evil? How many of you have ever been set up by somebody? Oh, Shendia. I'm talking about the ones you think you trust. The ones you invite into your house. Lord, I give you praise. I give you glory. How many of you have ever made this statement to yourself if I had only known? Come on. Amen. He didn't know. Let me tell you something. Why do you think God gives you a pastor? Because the truth is, the child of God got to work. The child of God got to put food on their table. The child of God got responsibilities at home. Oh, come on now. Thank God that he gives you a man of God, or he gives you a woman of God to do what? To watch for your soul. But can I tell you something else? Watch this. I don't know about you, I think it's better to live a life not depending on anybody. Amen? Amen? Amen. Oh, oh, thank God for the pastor. Thank God for the woman of God. But I want to have a relationship with God. I want to hear myself. Amen? Amen. Amen. I, might can't, I might can't reach the pastor. I might can't call the pastor and get in contact with the pastor. Glory to God. So, we need to be able to tap into the spirit of God. Yeah. You're not hearing what I'm saying today. I thank God that I'm a man who stays in the secret place. Y'all yeah. may hear me up in here. Yeah. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high. I like to stay in the secret place. Mm -hmm. If I stay in the secret place, God gives me secret instructions. Amen. You see, everybody ain't my friend. But I got, me and my friends got secrets. Yes. Everybody else don't know. Jesus said, from this day forth, I call you no more servants, but I call you friends. Yes. My friends, we used to have hideaways. We used to have a hideout that we'd go hang out together. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Lord will download secrets unto you. Yes. Jeremiah 33 and 3 said, I'll show you great and mighty things Amen. that you know not. How many of you are able to tap into the spirit? My wife was leaving the home, leaving the house one morning. I couldn't rest. I got up. She was leaving the house. I had an unsettling in my spirit. Glory to God. As she was walking out of the door, I said, where are you going? She said, I'm going to Walmart. I said, be careful 
going over to Walmart. And she says, why are you saying that? I said, I don't know. Right. How many of you have ever had an unction? Yeah. Glory to God. You, you, you might can't put your finger on it. You don't know exactly, but something ain't right. That's the Lord's spirit bearing witness with your spirit. Glory to God. She ended up going to Walmart that morning and was shopping. And the guy who robbed the store ran right in front of her with the gun. Oh, now my gosh. I'll show you great and mighty things. I wish I could have stopped her from going, period. Right. But the Lord showed me she needed to be covered by prayer. Amen. And the prayer kept her safe. Amen. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying today? I am telling the church, stop playing church. Yeah. You better get to know your God. Your relationship with God could save your life. Jesus. How many of you have booed? You gotta be careful with these preachers you trust. Hmm? Glory to God. Let me get up here. Y'all all right? Y'all just pray for me today. Pray for me today. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm just getting ahead of myself. So, 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 verse 9 says, The man of God said unto the king of Israel, saying, Beware that thou pass not such a place. For thither the Syrians are come down. Look at verse 10. Y'all all right? Amen. And the king of Israel sent to the place where the man of God told him and warned him of and saved himself there not once but to... Did y'all see this? Wait, wait, wait a minute. His life was spared. Now watch this. Don't you know Satan comes to kill? Steal. Since God called me to pastor, called me from the world to pastor, took me off the stage. I used to be on the stage like y'all. Took the drugs out of my mouth. Took the crack cocaine out of my mouth. Filled me with his spirit. Call me the pastor's church. I've been in constant warfare for the last 25 years. I'm going to let y'all go in a minute. I just want to say. The only way I'm here today, the only reason I'm here today is because of the word of God. to discern the heart of a person. There is a deeper intimacy with God. Mm -hmm. I've been pastoring for 20 something years. I ain't never had a big church. Mm -hmm. Don't hang with all the big pastors. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. But I spend time with God. Yeah. I spend time with God. I have been into some spiritual battles that are so intense with demonic forces. God has proven himself to me. Come hell or high water. Satan has already sent his best to my house. Most of my battles I've, got, I've gotten into been right in my living room, two and three and four o'clock in the morning. Watch this. I don't know where your battles have been, but mine's been up here in my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's why the Bible says, cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. We are so close to the coming of the Lord. Ah, ah, ah. A lot of folk don't like to come to this church because I don't, you're not going to get when the praises go up, the blessing come down message every week. What you will get in this church is you better grow up in Christ. You better be serious about God. And you better let go of them secret sins. Oh my God, y'all ain't hearing me up in here right now. Oh Jesus, Satan is taking folk out. Do y'all hear me? And watch this. Church folk who backslide on a regular basis. Hmm. I got a word for somebody in this church. I don't know who you are. But the Lord said the next time you backslide, you're going to lose your life. You ain't going to get back. It's just the mercy of God why he didn't kill you. You remember the word came down to Sodom and Gomorrah and he told Lot get out of the city take your family with you take your wife with you come on and the angel said him, don't look back oh shit I wish I could sit up here and tell y'all as a man of God, I'm not tempted okay. to look back. Mm -hmm. I, some of my biggest battles has been with me. Yes. Oh, maybe I'm too real for some of y'all. My biggest battle has been with me. Yes. The enemy appointed a pastor. You see the way that sister looked at you? <laughs> The devil is out to bring you down. Oh, God. What I'm trying to tell you, you don't have to be afraid, church. It doesn't make a difference what the enemy is plotting or what the enemy is plotting on you. There is a place in God. There is a place in God where God will tell you everything the enemy is about to do. Oh, Jesus. Can I have a few more minutes? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I bless your name. There were some preachers I used to hang with. Had to cut them loose. Call y'all and hear me. One of the preachers asked me, he said, Pastor Aiken, how many, girl, how many girlfriends you got in your church? I said, one. That's my wife. Oh, I give you praise. I give you glory. Ain't nothing that good that I'm going to hell. All right. I give you praise. Now watch this. After he warned the man of God, warned the king of Israel, and spared his life, the enemy got upset and said, Who, where did you get this information from? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at verse 11. Therefore the heart of the king of Syria was troubled. Are y'all with me? See, Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Whenever he's not able to kill you, he gets upset. If you get a warning from your church, if you get a warning from the Spirit of God to stop doing something and you stop doing it, the enemy is upset. Oh, glory to God. I give you praise. I give you glory. He wanted to know how did he find out about this? And he told him nobody, nobody told him but that Elijah, the servant Elijah. And when the king of Syria found out that Elijah warned the king of Israel to save his life, the king of Syria said, well, where is this Elijah? Y'all may hear me up in here. How many of y'all are preparing for spiritual warfare? Oh, it's quiet up in this church. How many of you are preparing for the greatest warfare that you've ever faced in your life. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus. 